this is going to be a comparison between booting this Mac from an internal mechanical hard drive and booting from the SCSI to SD version 5.5 external. The um, internal hard drive on this Mac has been copied exactly to this device so <clears throat> there should be no difference in software or anything to load. It's an exact copy of the same data. Um, so I'm going to turn the Mac on and we're going to see how long it takes to boot. Now this may look like a color classic. There's a 68030 16 in there. And I'm not sure if that's the original color classic board or a 575 board I might have put in at some point. <clears throat> There's a um, 2E card in it. And there's... Um, there's a 250 megabyte hard drive, so this, if you're looking at this as a color classic comparison, it may not be fair because the hard drive in this computer came out of a bin of Mac hard drives I had. And uh, being 250 megabytes probably is a little newer than this machine, which means that things like the seek time and, you know, access time is going to be a little faster uh, than what would probably come with the computer. Nonetheless, it's still a Apple SCSI drive. The SCSI ID has been set to 2, and the SCSI ID of the adapter has been set to zero. So the way we're going to do this is uh, after it boots we're going to get the time. I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to plug the SCSI to SD device in and when I turn it back on because it has an ID of zero and the internal drive has an ID of two it's going to select the external drive and boot from it instead of the internal. So we're we're still getting there. We're getting close to two and a half minutes. It's probably about nine thirty. Your clock is not set. We'll let that automatically okay itself like it just did. I didn't touch that. And there. Two minutes and thirty nine seconds about two forty. If you listen, it's still clicking a little, so all right. Oh, there goes drop stuff. Nope. 250. Okay. So there we go. I'm going to call that booted. And I'm going to show you about this Mac. Um, it just says Macintosh and it has uh, it says 10 megs of, uh, of RAM. I know there's some video RAM in the video RAM slot. There's, it says 10 megs and uh, yeah, 512 by 384, and it's set to 256 colors. Okay, so now we're going to, and you can see here, this is a 250 megabyte drive. So it says 133 megs of data on the disk. And that's all been copied to the other unit. So now we're going to go to special shutdown. So our time to beat before was somewhere around 240, 250. We're going to plug the device in.
give it a start. Okay. You still hear the mechanical drive spinning because it is still physically installed. But you don't hear it clicking because it's not accessing it. It'll probably initialize the internal drive, you know, just recognize it and put it on the desktop, which might add a second or two, but we won't, I'm not going to count that. I'm just curious. You know, is it significantly faster? Is it significantly slower? Is it right about the same as a original drive? And we're about to find out. <coughs> sure seems a little quicker. Yeah. Oh yeah. So about a minute faster. Well, let's not say yet. <laughs> Jeez, come on. Oh, I hear the internal drive. There goes the clock. There goes the auto OK. And it's booted at 202. Oh, we don't have stuff it yet. All right, 209. So instead of about, I guess I'll review the video to see, about 2 minutes and 45 seconds or so. So it saved about 30 seconds on the boot. Um, would I call it tremendously faster? No, but for those who were worried that the... 5.5 version has the worst transfer time. It's only one megabyte per second. It's really slow. Is it going to be slower than an internal drive? Well, as you can see, no. It's not going to be slower on these older Macs, even at one megabyte transfer speed or one, one whatever they advertise. It's certainly not going to be slower. And um, not only is it quicker, but it's quicker than a a newer drive than this computer would have come with in the first place. So I'm definitely happy with that result and um, as long as it's equal to uh, what I'd expect from an internal drive you know that's that's fantastic. Great! And you can see there the Untitled which is the uh, electronic drive and then the 250 is still there and this crazy thing, I think it's set to two gigabytes. Uh, same exact files, copied it over exactly. Uh, let's see if get info tells us much. Well, it still says the same 137 um, as the size. Uh, I don't see where it says here how much space it has free, but. Um, and set the two gigs. Let's see, can I get it to... Usually set it across the title bar, but I guess not. Okay, well that's that.